guessing if it wasn't one of those five guys, but who knows? Hey, possibly. I'm guessing it should be one of those five guys. And you would take Leonard over Singleton, you said? I would take Leonard over Singleton just because of his offensive versatility, although I think Singleton is the best man-on-man -man defender in the draft. He's if, if they're the serious guy. about defense, and I'm going to assume that they are, that's why I would lean in that direction, but I haven't heard anybody else agreeing with me. Everybody else says Clay Thompson or... Clay Thompson has been the guy that's been mentioned the most. And if Milwaukee would have stayed at 10, that was a team that a lot of mock drafts had him slated for to get it to Milwaukee. And then the Warriors, I saw a number of teams. But most of the mocks I saw had Marcus Morris going 9 to Charlotte. And they were involved in a trade. They ended up getting Biombo. So, no, it'll be interesting. I mean, do you want to – they can get a 2, they can get a 3, or they can get a 4. What's going on in the war room, man? As, as we speak, they're right next door. Exactly. Wow, Brian, you're going Clay? Everybody's saying Clay. You don't want to stop it, too? Oh, look at the Jimmer Jam in New York. I wish I was there. Jimmer Jam. It's like the NBA Jam. I would love to see Singleton. Except not. <laughs> oh, brother. I mean, the two things the Warriors need is to get bigger and to get better defense. So they can't get bigger because there's really nobody there in terms of big, big. Uh, so well, you get bigger in the backcourt. I mean, you right, have right. to get bigger at center. That's true. So Clay Thompson would definitely get bigger Davis's contract. They're probably not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, that, I don't believe is going to happen. If they take Thompson, that's yeah. going to start a lot of questions about this. Monte getting traded again. Yeah, I don't know if those are going to stop until next year. I don't know if those are ever going to stop. Mark Spears of Yahoo says the Warriors are going to draft Clay Thompson. Another two so we, yep. to make Monte happy. Yep. And probably could play a little three, depending on the matchups, who you're going up against, what the other team offers at three. I mean, the one question for me with Clay Thompson is, you know, lateral quickness, being able to stay in front of the two guards in the league, but there's no doubt the guy can flat out shoot it. I mean, we watched Oh, he's a great yeah. shooter. I mean, he had an unbelievable Pac-10 tournament. He came out and... Carried the team on his back. Exactly. I mean, he was the one guy that was a constant offensive option. Teams were prepared to stop him, and he was able to score. And like I said, he is going to be able to and catch... And a good bloodlines. Very good bloodlines. Michael Thompson's son, who was the center for the Minnesota Gophers, won some championships with the L.A. Lakers, and now a broadcaster with the Lakers. But this is a guy, like I said earlier going to be able to catch and shoot, come off screens. Offensively, he, he gets it. I mean, he gets it offensively, spacing, all that kind of stuff. So, you know what? Hey, it's hard for me to say. I, I, like I said, I would have taken, I would have liked Marcus Morris, but maybe teams are sour on him. Here we go with the Golden State Warriors. To the commission. Then, here's the commissioner. With the 11th pick in the 2011 NBA draft, the Golden State Warriors select Clay Thompson from Washington State University. All right, there you go. Clay Thompson got a little bit bigger, or a lot bigger, in the backcourt. Added some backcourt depth, which is certainly a necessity for the Warriors. They're not going to have to have Steph Curry and Monte Ellis play 40 minutes 46 tonight. 46 minutes. Yeah, each. and those guys were playing insane minutes last year so that's going to give him some that'll time. help in that regard yeah it'll it's going to give him some size and look you don't always have to go out there and get your size or your front court size in the draft there are some free agents that are to be had out there and i'm sure that's the direction they're going to be looking seeing who they can get to bring in here to add some depth in their front court but certainly this is a guy who's nba ready and we've heard that jerry west really really liked him and maybe it was jerry west i'm not going to say it was his call but maybe his influence was uh, was what pushed him in that Very direction. Very possible. And, of course, regardless of whose influence it is, everybody knows the Warriors need more scoring from the backcourt. Yes, they do. <laughs> yes, they do. They're Somebody lead. that can score from the backcourt. They're going to lead the universe. <laughs> lead the universe in scoring, not just from the starters, but from the bench man as well. And Clay Thompson will be – well, he's NBA ready. I mean, he's, he's going to be NBA ready. What are you thinking if you're Monte? Um – I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you're reading all these rumors. You have no idea what's going on. I don't that's, think he, that's not going to quell anything. That's for sure. Yeah. I don't know that he cares one way. I mean, it's not going to affect his status. He's the guy on the team. I mean. It,